GoPro. What is this? What is this? It's a... Uh... Designer. Recommended 14 to 18 PSI. All 16. Board today. Our right. outside today, but yeah. oh, this is so stable. Gilly, this is amazing. How you doing? Good, good. 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 Big one. Huh? Yeah, just started, man. I'm off work. Just started, you know? Yeah, wrong with this, right? That's the right. Day. This is the best way to have the day. Can't, can't, can't go wrong with this. Right? Is it windy up there? No, not at all. It's just glass all the way up. Ooh, nice. I like that. Yeah. All right, have a good one, man. You too, you too. Always, you too.
love this paddle board already. This is a big mama jammer. It's extremely stable. Like I thought the free flow was stable. This. This is stable. It's a little bit windy, but it's not windy windy. This is like the least windiest bend for I don't know how long. But it feels good. I was thinking about going to Lake Berryessa today, but I don't bring no money on me, and you have to pay for parking. I mean, if you want to be shady and sneaky, you don't have to pay for parking. But the place I go to, you have to pay for parking. I bring cash on me, and I'm not going to go somewhere and sneak in when I can pay cash. And I hope my money is going to keeping the park and the lake in that area and everything maintenance and in, you know, good condition. See that tree? I told you all about a tree last time I was out there. There it is. I don't know if that's rocks or sand, I don't know. You know, it's funny. I think I pulled a Peter. For those of you that don't know what I mean by I pulled a Peter, Jesus was walking on the sea to the boat where they was fishing. And please don't quote me and don't, well, I'm just, I'm summarizing the story that way I currently remember it. He was walking on the sea to the disciples. They was on the boat fishing because you know, he told them to go. It was a stormy night, stormy night. The seas were rough extremely choppy waves it was bad and here you have Christ walking on water where he's walking the storm is calm so Peter Peter wonder if that's really Jesus Jesus says come to me Peter start walking on the water. He had his focus on Jesus. Focus on Jesus. But once he lost focus, once he stopped paying attention to Jesus, he went from walking on water to drowning. Jesus reached out his hand, picked him up. Keep your eyes on me. Now, I didn't actually say exactly how the Bible said it because, you know, I can't quote scriptures and, but I do know the story. I definitely know the story. And for me to ask that guy, is it windy down there? I should've just kept going. Not ask him, just say, hey, have a good day. God bless, take care, enjoy. You and your daughter, enjoy your day. See how it's extremely shallow over here? But instead I asked him, is it windy? Yeah, it's glass. It's 
class for him. But see, here's the thing. Just because I accepted Christ as my savior, doesn't mean the water is always going to be glass. You're going to have more choppy, windy, and and wild, rough waters more than you're going to have glassy water. However, when you give it to God, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, God got your back. And there's no greater power to have your back other than God. That might be a separate video. It might be this video, I don't know. So the reason why I'm out on the water right now is to test out this ghillie minnow. And gosh, this thing is amazing. Outside of this wind, but I mean, it's taking this small chop that's like a champ. And I haven't really tried like mashing on it like I am starting to now, but. Woo. Oh yeah, this is good. Huh? Great. I mean, the wind kicked in, but we're good. <laughs> How y'all doing? Yes, it is. Oh yeah. Adjust this leash because it's choking the life out of my leg. Yo, I love this paddle board. I didn't. I really don't care. It's not like Gilly is uh, sponsoring me for this. Even though I gave him a lot of praises for the Gilly adventure. Like, I, I gave him a lot of praises. The reason they call us Lake Solano, even though this is, uh, oh wow, the water got real deep quick. I can't even see the ground. They call this uh, Pewter Creek, but they also call it Lake Salon. I don't know why, but whatever. They got the boat ramp closed. This area 
was on fire. Was it this one? I think this area was on fire last year. I think I see the ground. Yep. We got a few action mounts. One, two, three. I don't know if there's some behind me, but I'll check some. Yeah, they call these Scotty mounts. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I hope I brought my sword because I am thirsty. Woo! I think those are quails. I have no idea to be honest. I don't know my animal sounds at all. I know an owl. I know how crows sound like. Crows are annoying. I don't know when I'm gonna post this, but if anybody paddles or kayaks the Russian Creek or the Russian River and they wanna do a, a multi-day paddle and camp out, let me know. I mean, I can't do it right now because of family situations. But if my parents was healthier, if they was able to be taken care of, or if they could take care of themselves, oh, I would do that. I will do that for a weekend. Well, I don't have to do sound at church. For those of you that don't know, I'm a sound engineer. I love it. Do it at the Father's house, it's amazing. I love doing it. I love the team. I love the church, but even more, I love God. So, but yeah, I would, I would, I'll probably take like a Thursday and Friday off work and just set out, get to where I need to get to Sunday, get somehow get back to the car, come home, shower, pass out. Go work back to work Monday. Wouldn't that be nice? I am kind of hungry. Is that a creek over there? I uh, see. I haven't been over in this area. Like I haven't been on the water in this area and probably, I don't know. No, it's been, it's been almost a year. I came out here in June. That's the last time I've been here. Last few times I tried to come up here, it was just too windy. I didn't want to fight the wind. And actually the first time I came on here, it was just too dark. Like I, I was getting here with the sun setting and the wind was coming and yeah, I just didn't want to paddle in the dark, no lights. And dealing with the wind and the cold, I didn't want to deal with that. So, I'm trying to figure out if that was my, if I made a video on that. I think I did. Yep, my backyard video. I'll put, 
I'll post it on. I'll put the card up there on the video. You'll see the card. So this road right here goes Lake Berryessa. It's also where we went uh, hiking at for my, my backyard video. Those hills right there is actually where we was at. If the wind stops, if the wind uh, takes a chill pill, we might just go in that area. Oh, also, this area right here last year was on fire. They named that fire the Lightning Complex Fire. You guys probably heard me talk about it two or three times in a few different videos. But yeah, this area right here was on fire. All this got burnt. And like I was saying in uh, the Thoughts of the Gemini Part 2, what was that fire? That fire was July, August, I want to say. Might have been September. Might have been September. I can't remember. No, I want to say it was September. August, September was that fire. And look how nature recovered.
we're gonna hit this next time. He's mugging me. Peace out, homie. technically walk paddleboard through this. And so I feel, start feeling ground on the fan.
guess this is where we stop for now. She's safe there. Come up here and explore a little. Nothing but foxtails and there she is. That's a gilly. But who knows, I might just take out the water and bring it back in. Well, that's real shallow. Luckily with this, deers, or deers, ducks. Luckily with this, which I didn't bring with me, but it's in the car right now, it's in the bag. It has its own river fin, which is dope. So from here to down there, it's all rocky. It's very shallow. Then we got another break. And yeah, I actually did make a video here. <laughs> I remember this. I don't know if the video is posted, so I'm not going to say I posted a video, but I've been here before. It's so gorgeous here, though. It's like amazing. I did see people over here, but I don't know where they went. So yeah, there's no more paddling. Cause this is all we look at. I was. So technically I breaks off to that way. So we would came around there if we went the other way. It's pretty interesting. It's so beautiful out here though. Sorry, I got the sun over there, so can't really show you all that, but let's see if I zoom in. This is the only good thing about the GoPro compared to the DJI Osmo Action. It zooms in. Zoom ain't all that, but it's nice. It's a nice option to have. So yeah, y'all, this is Puto Creek, AKA damn near my backyard so the water is also on that end too crossing point watch the paddle board be gone that was suck See all this area. So like I tell you, we had the lightning complex fire last year. Nature re rebuilt. It's sad, but nature rebuilt. That's why I love nature. Love it. Just I can right here. Here. So I am hungry, but I don't know where I want to eat. I actually need to get back. Oh, wow. Uh, Y'all can't see it, but the sun's about to go down over the hill. So I want to get back to the car before the sun gets down. So I actually want to go back to the car. 
because I'm, I'm not trying to deal with that wind which I'm not going to make it but yeah this is amazing though y'all like it's amazing though y'all this is it doesn't get better than this So let's take the, let's pick it, everything up. Cause I was going to eat. Let's see, I brought mine. Yeah, I guess I'll eat at the car. Or eat closer to the car.
So yeah, today, just a ghillie. The new ghillie minnow. I'll let y'all know how I feel about it. I had a great time though. What is this? What is this? It's a uh...